Now y'all done I'm gonna see here again guys. Today what are we looking at her? That looks like a stripped lower receiver, doesn't it? Oh my gosh Don. Sure is. What we got over here? We got all the parts that come out of a lower receiver parts kit, don't we? We certainly do. Well, what are we doing in this video today? Today what I'm going to do, I'm going to build this lower, of course. I'm not going to be doing that right now in this video because before we start to build our AR-15 lower, we should probably know what all the parts that came in our big old plastic bag of parts are and what they're used for. I didn't see a video like this. Maybe I didn't search hard enough, but um, I think before we start building things, it's good to explain what we got, differentiate the parts. So that's what I'm doing in this video. So I'm just going to go over what the parts are and uh, hopefully that'll help you because I had a little bit of a difficult time figuring out what goes where, which springs for which part of the lower receiver and all that good stuff. So here I am explaining it. Okay, so first thing we have is our stripped lower receiver right here. Yep. Uh, this according to I forget what California lawmaker is the engine this is the the engine of a gun and th this is this would be a ghost gun right now because I got my serial number covered up right yeah I just didn't think you guys needed to know the serial number of my lower um, it does have one so it's not the ghost gun that guy was talking about but anyway <laughs> This is, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the lower receiver. This is the part of the gun which is serialized. So this, according to the ATF, is a gun. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Sorry, I just pointed that gun at you guys. Really sorry. Put it at myself too. Holy mackerel. I gotta be more careful. Okay. All right, that's your lower receiver. That's where all these parts are gonna go into. All right, let's go over the parts. What kind of parts we got here? And uh, I think I'll go over them in the way that I'm going to put them in the gun. Or in the receiver. But that's a gun according to the ATF. Anyway, so first part we got here. This is your mag catch. Okay, take a look at it. Make sure get nice and focused in here on you. This is your mag catch. Okay. That goes in here. I should have focused back down, didn't I? Pretty bad at this. That goes in here. Um, parts you need for this. We have some springs over here. This, the biggest spring that comes in the kit is for the mag catch or the mag release, whatever you want to call it. So the magazine release. And this little button looking doohickey is your mag, mag release pin or button, whatever you want to call it. All right, so those three go together. So your larger spring is for your magazine catch. And you got the magazine release button, which will screw on the end. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. All right. Typically what I've seen is people usually install that first. Next, we have our trigger guard. I'll probably get a different trigger guard than this. Um, I like the Magpul one better because it's it wider, it's easier to shoot with guns, but uh, I'll probably just install with this right now. Um, but this is your trigger guard. Pretty simple. It goes in here. And over here you'll see two, there you got two roll, roll pins. pins. The larger of the two roll pins is for the trigger guard. This is the trigger guard roll pin. It'll go into your trigger guard when you install it. Okay, so the larger of the two roll pins is for the trigger guard. All right, great. Of course, my battery died. That figures. But I'm back. So we just went over the 
trigger guard and we're moving on to the bolt catch. It's the bolt catch. There are three parts for the bolt catch. So let's take a look over here. We have this little hoochie jigger, little pin looking thing. Um, don't drop things. They're hard to find. Bolt catch buffer. Black. It's rounded on the end. There's the other end. It's your bolt catch buffer. And we also have the bolt catch spring. Now we got two springs of similar size here. Oh well, we can see this. But you notice one is straight and one's wider at one end. The one that's completely straight, that is your bolt catch spring. That's your bolt catch spring. And one more part to the bolt catch is the bolt small pin. roll pin. The small is your bolt catch roll pin. It's your smallest roll pin. All right. So there are four parts to the bolt catch, which we'll put up there for now. Okay. Next, we have our trigger. It's pretty easy, isn't it? It's right there. It's your trigger. Looks like a trigger. Along with the trigger, we have the disconnector and the disconnector spring. The disconnector spring is the other small spring, which has one side which is larger than the other. Okay. Notice how it's wider up here than it is down here. That's your disconnector spring. It goes in the little hole in your trigger. Okay. And then we have the trigger spring. Once again, we'll go over how all these go together later. We just want to make sure we have the parts and know what we're looking at first. So a lot of these uh, lower parts kit do not come with any like diagram that shows what they are. Um, they basically come with a, a list of what's in the package, but no pictures relating to what the different parts are. Okay, so we got a trigger, disconnector, disconnector spring, trigger spring. Okay, trigger spring is the, has the wider. There's two springs that look similar. This one is wider than the other one, which is this one, which we'll get to maybe right now. This is the hammer spring. And this is your hammer. Hammer, hammer spring. The squared off portion is thinner and is it longer? It looks longer, but that might just be an optical illusion. It's, not, it's slightly longer. You can see the uh, it's got like four loops here, rather than just two. It's on the trigger spring. But it's pretty easy. It's a longer overall spring. So the longer overall spring is your hammer spring, which we'll put right here next to the hammer. Put this back with the trigger assembly. I did forget two parts. I apologize. <laughs> Forgot our two main pins. These are our trigger pins and our hammer pin. The trigger pin and the hammer pin. They're both exactly the same. So, doesn't matter which one you use for which. Trigger pin and the hammer pin. I forgot that. <laughs> it was sitting right there behind the lower receiver. So, forgot about it. Alright, what else do we have? We've got your selector, your safety selector, select, fire, safety, fire, three round burst, fully auto, yeah, yeah, not in this build. Anyway, so yeah, this is your safe, safety selector switch. All right, now with the selector, you have two springs right over here. They're both, 
kind of a bronzy color, I'd say. And then you have another one that's more of a silver color. I think they're always the same color. I'm not positive, as in every single different uh, AR-15 parts kit. But if you notice, it's also it's thicker. And it's shorter than the bronze colored one, okay? So the smaller, thicker, and silver colored spring that's your selector spring, All right? And then over here we have a couple of detents. More than a couple, sorry. The larger of the detents, it kind of looks like a bullet. If you take a look at it, take a nice focused in look at this. See how it looks like a bullet? That's your selector detent. Okay? And that's all part of your safety selector mechanism. I'm not showing you where they go right now. Just we need to know what we have before we go to put them together. Okay. Wow, what we got left here? We got our takedown pins, front and rear. Okay, these are pretty self-explanatory. If you know anything about an AR-15, these are your takedown pins. Okay, they're what connect the upper receiver and the lower receiver. That's what holds them together. Shorter ones for the rear, longer ones for the front. Not sure why I brain farted there. <laughs> What's the opposite of a rear? I don't know. All right. Put this back in. Over here. This is your pistol grip screw. And this is your pistol grip lock washer. Goes on here. Oh, what's that? Oh. Well, that's the pistol grip and it goes down into the pistol grip connects to the lower receiver okay pistol grip lock nut pistol grip screw we talked about the takedown pins you might have been thinking well what are those springs over there for well these are both exactly the same they're the thinner, longer, kind of bronze colored springs that come in your take or your parts kit. And these are the takedown detent spring and the pivot detent spring. These are both detent detent spring. Takedown detent spring and the pivot pivot detent spring. And these two detents are guess what the takedown pin detent and the pivot pin detent okay that's your takedown actually that's your pivot pin and that's your takedown pin all right I think that's all the parts. Oh, nope. I forgot about these two. Oh, no. Well, we got her. What we have here is our buffer retainer. This is your buffer retainer. And this other spring. That's the last spring we have left. Guess what that is? Yep, it's the buffer retainer spring. Okay. That's probably the third... No, uh, second largest spring, maybe. After your magazine catch spring. Okay, well that's it. Those are all the parts of your AR-15. 
lower parts kit. I hope that was helpful to any of you out there who might have had some questions about what all the pieces are for. Um, I hope it is clear enough for you guys so you're able to see each part and know what it is. And in the next video, we're going to start putting it together. All right. Um, I don't have a bunch of fancy tools. I don't have magazine block for a vise. I'm going to try to put this together with uh, as minimal amount of tools as possible. Because um, a lot of us out there who are putting together a lower receiver are probably doing it in order to save money. Hence, why do I want to go out and buy $100, $150 in armorer's tools? There are certain ones you'll need. There's certain ones I already have. <clears throat> but I don't see the need to go out and buy a bunch of pins and punches and things like that at this point. We'll see as the build goes on. Um, but as far as putting a lower parts kit into your gun, I'm going to try to do it with... Uh, as common as tools as I think most people should have lying around their house. All right. Any comments, any questions? If you think I made a mistake on something, let me know. Um, good seeing you guys. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.